Hi, this is Shri. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will talk about MCP servers. I will explain it in very simple terms and give you a bit of history so you will have a clear idea of how they evolved and why they matter. And then I will show you a demo of how to take an existing API in Azure API management and expose it as an MCP server, literally just with few clicks. Let's get started. November 2022 changed everything. ChatGPT showed the world that AI could have human-like conversations, write code and solve complex problems. But there was a cache. It was essentially isolated system. It could only work with the text you gave it in that conversation window. But it could not do anything with your actual system or data. It has no awareness of your systems, your database or your business processes. The businesses did not want AI to just talk, they want AI to act. For example, a support agent asks, check the status of so and so order and if delayed, create a ticket. Or a finance analyst say, pull me the latest revenue data from our ERP system. It lagged in these kind of things. They could not connect to your ERP or systems. Essentially, they were smart but stuck in isolation. In early 2023, OpenAI recognized this limitation quickly. They announced ChatGPT plugins, the first attempt to let AI Assistant connect to external systems. Suddenly, ChatGPT could browse the web, access live data, and interact with third party services. This was revolutionary, but it revealed a bigger problem. Every plugin was a custom integration. If you want to connect to Slack, you need a custom plugin. Need database access? Another custom plugin. Each one required a specific development, unique authentication patterns, and a separate maintenance. For example, if an LLM want to connect to Slack API, it required its own connector with its own implementation. Each AI platform had its own integration approach. OpenAI had plugins. Anthropic had custom tool definitions, other had their own proprietary methods. Developers were stuck building the same integration multiple times just to work with different AI platforms. It was old M2N integration problem. Every AI model needed its own connector to every tool and vice versa. To solve this challenge, Anthropic, the team behind Cloud, introduced model context protocol MCP in November 2024. MCP was released as an open source standard designed to connect AI systems to external tools and data in a way that's consistent, secure and reusable. Before MCP, every AI platform had its own custom way of defining plugins or tools. That means business had to build one integration for ChatGPT, another one for Clad, another one for Gemini. And each came with its own security setup and maintenance headaches. MCP solved this challenge by defining a single universal protocol. So you can expose your API once and instantly it becomes usable by any AI system that supports MCP. It also brought security and governance into the picture. You can enforce authentication, rate limit and audit logs in one place instead of spreading them across the different bespoke integrations. MCP standardized the way AI assistant and enterprise systems talk to each other. That's why today MCP has quickly become the go-to approach for building enterprise ready AI integrations. With growing buzz around MCP servers and the need for the business to expose their APIs as MCP servers, Microsoft has stepped in with a really exciting capability. Azure API management now includes MCP server support which is in preview as of this video. That means you can instantly take an existing API you already have in Azure API management and expose it as an MCP server without writing any extra code. This is powerful for two reasons. One is speed. You don't have to reinvent your APIs or build special connectors. One click and your APIs are MCP ready. Governance. Because it runs through APIM, we still get authentication, throttling, analytics and policy controls. The same enterprise grade features we already trust. So let me walk you through this step by step. I will show you how to expose an existing API in Azure API management as an MCP server and then consume it directly in Copilot as a tool. 
let's get started i am in my azure portal i have already created infecto and apim iphone 2 api management service in basic v2 tier as of this video mcp servers are currently supported in basic standard and premium tiers for both classic and v2 variants for the classic tiers we must enroll in the ai gateway early update group to have the mcp server service available i have also created a simple customer api where i have the two operations one is get operation where it will retrieve all the customer details and a priority customer operation where this will retrieve the priority customer details for the demo purpose i have simply added an inbound policy where it will return hard-coded customer data now let's expose these two api operations through mcp server so an llm model can use them as tools or connect to these operations through mcp server to retrieve the customer details to do that go to the mcp servers which is still in the preview click on create mcp server expose an api as an mcp server select api in our case it's customer api you can choose the operations from this api you can choose either all the operations or specific operations you want to expose through the mcp server for demo purpose let's expose both the operations through mcp server then the display name will be simply customer details customer details customer details demo click on create the mcp server has been created okay now we have the mcp server ready what we need to do is we have to provide this as a tool to an llm and the llm can use these tools based on the context provided to demo this simply we're going to use the visual studio and geek copilot so what we will be doing is we will be providing this mcp server as a tool for the github copilot and github copilot can use the llm to invoke this specific mcp server and retrieve the data let's do that in the visual studio we need two plugins azure api management and azure mcp server once you have these two plugins log into the azure with your credentials and under the api management you will be able to see your api management instance i'll just hit the refresh so it will load the latest configurations and settings and our operation is under apis we have the customer api operation we have two operations one is get get all customers and priority customers so first let's invoke get all customer test operation these are protected by subscription key just copy the subscription key primary key copy it and just paste it here first let's test this service and click on the send request okay awesome we have the service invoked successfully to retrieve all the customer details well and good now let's add an mcp server to add an mcp server go to mcps transformative and the customer detail this is the mcp server which we created get and policy right click on the customer details copy server url and it will be streamable http select that and the server url will be copied now let's add this as an mcp server to do that mcp add server and it will be http server sent events select that paste your mcp server url hit enter and give a name to your mcp server customer details v and hit enter and add this one to your workspace and it will be added to your workspace and trust okay we have the my mcp server customer details iphone v1 service running if you want you can do a restart it has restarted and it has discovered two tools which is one for get and one for policy now that we have successfully added our mcp as a tool within the visual studio if you open the github copilot open chat and if you see here configure tools we will be able to see mcp customer details v1 which was added just now under this we we can see two tools get and priority customer so the mcp server has been added to the github copilot um, chat llm now if you ask questions in the chat 
based on the context it will be able to use these tools to retrieve the information to do that what we can simply do is you can simply ask github copilot can you get me priority customer details it's trying to use the MCP server that we have added as a tool to the GitHub Copilot. Um, we'll simply click on continue. It's working on it. Access to priority customer details is denied due to missing subscription key. It even tried to understand the error message that is written from the API and it's giving us suggestions to add the subscription key. So let's add the subscription key to our um, MCP server. To do that, what we can do is we can simply go to our servers here then we can simply add headers after type simply add the header with the subscription key click this one save and um, start the tool again tool is running discover two tools um, just to cross check go here and yeah we still have this now let's run the same get me priority customer details again I have updated the subscription key get me the customer details now continue it's working there you go here are the priority customer details it invoked the priority customer API and it has returned the details successfully now we can even ask get me all the customer details yeah that is the tool that we want to use and click on continue and now it has returned all the customer details to prove the point we can even go to the api management and in the logs we will be able to see a successful customer and get customer details it back to the api management portal and if you go to this application insights simply transaction search and look for the recent data you will be able to see a successful calls to both the apis that is it for this video i hope you like the content if you like the content please hit subscribe share and comment I will catch you in the next video. Until then, this is Shri signing off. Thank you.